How to connect QDRAN to Anaten step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can connect your QDRAN account to Anaten. So let's get started this video. First thing first, what you have to do is just open your workflow and search for QDRAN node. And from here, if you are not downloaded this QTRAN node, you can just simply click on this install node button. So it will basically install this node. So I don't need this node. Instead of, I will use this quadrant victim store. So from here, you will get two options like triggered and actions in that you have different types of action and triggered as well. So for just tutorial, I will choose this add document to save vector store. Now over here, we will set up a credential to connect with our Anatan. Now click on it and click on this create new credential. Now we need API key and the QTRAN URL. So right now, as you can see here, I'm at my QTRAN dashboard. Now uh, let's assume you have just created an account. To create a cluster, I will just simply click on this create button. Now you have to create a free cluster over here. I will choose AWS and then give a name and then just simply okay this is a paid one you can only connect or create one cluster for free I guess now I have already created a cluster in my uh, QDRAN account now what I need to do is just simply go and find the API key now click on this three dot from the right side and click on the details now after the details you will see something like this now go to api keys now as you can see here from it is already generated an api key now what i'm going to do is generate again now you can add a day until expiration so i will add so if you want to add like empty to disable expiration you can just simply keep empty now, if you want to select the collection, you can select it. And from here, you can allow operations. Now, just simply click on this create button. Now, copy this API key and get back to your Anaton and paste the API key into API section. Now, let's move and copy the URL of our qdrunk.ai.io. Copy this. URL and go back to our Anaton and paste over here. Now click on the save button. It will test the connection. And as you can see, we have successfully connected our QTRAND API to Anaton. So after the connection, you will be able to build smart workflows that store search and retrieve vector data right inside your automation pipeline. You can use uh, QTRAND as a memory layer for your AI agent child pods or recommendation systems all from within the Anaton. So you can also you can automate embedding workflows using OpenAI or other models with seamless vector search support. So that's it for today's video. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Don't worry of the, this error because I haven't set up this configuration of this node. So when I double click on this node, let me show you this error is showing because i have not created any collection in my database so make sure you have created a collection and then you can connect with this uh, chat models and then document as well so yeah that's it for today's video and if you found this video helpful then subscribe to our channel thanks for watching